Hi, Aaron Stonebeat here. In this video I'll address a subject that is basically simple on one hand, but it has its complications in practice. An electric guitar has many metal parts that are not directly connected to the circuit, such as mounting brackets for pickups, pickup covers, base plates as you might find on Telecaster bridge pickups. Telecaster bridges, of course. Potentiometers have metal casings. Switches have metal frames, at least they should, if they're any good. And sometimes control plates are made out of metal. All of these parts will act as receivers of electromagnetic noise that is all around us. And they will also transmit this noise, most notably the 50 or 60 cycle hum from the power grid. Therefore, all these parts should be grounded. The noise they receive will then be drained to ground. And by the way, not only metal parts are affected by electromagnetic radiation, living organisms just as well. Basically we are bags of water with huge amounts of ions, positive and negative molecules floating around in it. This is why you hear the hum when you touch the tip of your guitar cable when it's plugged into your amplifier. For this reason, in most countries, guitars have a ground connection to the strings, so that when we touch the strings, we ground ourselves. There is a risk of electrocution in this setup, though. And that's why in some countries this ground connection to the strings is forbidden. In the 60s, Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones nearly died from electrocution because a mistake was made in grounding his guitar equipment and his microphone. Be that as it may, strings grounded or not, a so-called shielding, a casing of copper or aluminum foil around the electronics of your guitar, is an additional help in eliminating electromagnetic noise from your sound. Of course, for this to operate properly, it should be grounded as well. Now, I'll show you in a diagram what all these ground connections would look like. And while doing so, I hope the explanation will make clear why I normally don't draw all these connections. First, let's start with the schematic for a Les Paul type guitar, as I've shown you in a previous video. I'll represent the mounting brackets and or the pickup cover by the gray rectangular around the pickup. There it is, and it needs a ground connection. Same for the other pickup. There you go. Now also the potentiometers have their metal casing and they need a ground connection. Here's one, and there's the next one, volume control for the red pickup, the next one, tone control for the blue pickup and its connection, and finally the volume control for the blue pickup and its ground connection. Then we have the three-way switch 
which has its metal frame and that has to be connected to ground. And finally we could add a shielding around the complete electronics of the guitar. Like this. And this of course also needs its ground connection. Compare this again to the simplified schematic and note that it has become at least twice as complicated, seemingly. There you have it. Some things should be noted. Covers and mounts for pickups are usually connected internally, so you don't have to worry about them. If you have a Telecaster type guitar with a metal control plate, the control plate will connect the two potentiometers and the switch. So you have to ground only one of these parts and the other two will be grounded through the plate. One thing to keep in mind in all of this is to avoid so-called ground loops. Ground loops are circuits within the ground system and through these circuits uh, currents could run under circumstances and you would want to avoid this as they could be a cause of interference by themselves. This again is the situation we had before. I'll clean it up a bit. A ground loop could look like this. Any double connection to ground will be a ground loop. Try to avoid them at all times. In a future video I would like to go into series and out of phase switching. These present some grounding problems of their own. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.